Without the Salvation Army and the things that they do for people, a lot of people would be in a lot of trouble. A lot of people might be homeless. I would have been homeless if they hadn't helped me. I moved here from Wisconsin and up there, I never even had to ask for food stamps. We had so many pantries that had vegetables all the time and we could go every day so that we weren't getting rotten vegetables or having to hold off with, or you know, or get no vegetables and that. And being diabetic, that's really important to me. Um, so with me being on the committee, we're watching what people are getting so they're not getting too much sugar, they're not getting you know, the bad stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm the one that always is yelling, hey, we need more vegetables, no more fruit. We need <laughs> fresh stuff. Everybody falls on hard times. Uh, you know, it's an outreach program that helps the community. And, uh, you know, it was there when, what, it was there for us when we didn't have it. Sometimes you feel kind of like nobody cares, but there's always somebody that does care in Salvation Army. I mean, it helps a lot of people. And there's a lot of good agencies in the area that can help you get back on your feet if, you know, you're really trying to just survive, <laughs> which is sometimes what we're all trying to do. And, and then usually, I don't know, sometimes I just think God brings people into your lives at the right time to kind of lift you up. Because when you're really down, you only really have one way to go, and that's up. But you got to just hang in there and have faith. Because there's a lot of families I know, like in Caney County, um, that need the extra food that the food pantry gives them. Um, a friend of ours uh, works on the school board, and he said that 72% um, of the kiddos in Taney County are on free and reduced meals. So there's a lot of families out there that, you know, maybe paycheck to paycheck, or maybe they just got laid off, um, and they need that extra hand. And if they don't have that financial support, then, um, you know, then the food pantry wouldn't be anymore. I came down here and being that we, I only get, could get food once a month, and I'm living on a disability check, and it's not easy. Just one of my prescriptions is $660. And so it's been really hard for me down here because I thought, oh, well, it's gonna be like it was up in Wisconsin, you know. Um, the need is really great in this area, especially because it's a tourist area and off season affects a lot of people. And um, it's like kind of I tell people, you know, you're kind of just a house fire away from being homeless. And I don't think people really think about that. And because, um, you know, being down on your luck can happen to anybody at any given time in your life. And it's very important to count your blessings and give back to your community. And Salvation Army really does its best to help in a lot of different aspects. So I always tell people to donate their clothes, donate their time, donate whatever you could donate, food, money, to help with the programs that they have, especially for housing. So we don't have, you know, the homeless kind of issue that, you know, we have kind of in our country. And it's just really important to give back. So here in the Branson area, um, our core community center, which is located in Branson, serves Stone and Taney counties. And over the last several years, it's been amazing the amount of people we've been able to serve in this area with not just social service needs, but spiritual assistance and helping to see families move along the spectrum of the not just poverty, but actually step out of poverty. And these things are only possible because of the generosity of donors and a community that supports the Salvation Army. And especially right now as we prepare to step into our most important 
fundraising season of the year, our uh, red kettle season. Uh, we once again are asking the community and our donors to support the work of the Salvation Army. We ask for that support not just because we want to see this money come into our accounts, but because we know that the donations that are given uh, are going to turn into real life-changing services provided to individuals that might not find it anywhere else. One thing about the Salvation Army that we are very glad to pride ourselves on is the reality that 82 cents of every dollar donated goes to direct services and the remainder of that dollar is used on fundraising and staffing needs for our facilities. And so right here in this area, as you consider this upcoming Christmas season, uh, what level of support you're able to offer to the Salvation Army, whether that be financial support or by volunteering as a bell ringer at one of our various Red Kettle locations, that you will consider and realize that these things that you do uh, are truly impactful to those that we serve. Um, just the fellowship and people that have come into my life, I think, when I needed them. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's just really important to give back. Cause it could happen to anybody. I never thought it would happen to me. In it. <laughs> I've been sure to be in without a place to live. And some people are, are very generous and other people are not so much. And you kind of find out who your friends are. And um, I think God sometimes lets people go out of your life and brings people in that you really need. And that's what I think. I really believe in this. The co-op, like I said, has been a lifesaver for me. You know, I haven't stopped losing weight, which is good for the diabetes too. But I mean, I've always been heavy. This is the thinnest I've ever been. <laughs> so, but like I said, I wouldn't be getting the good food. I mean, I was so disappointed when I went to the other pantries and, you know, being that I'm by myself, I lost my husband last year. And being by myself, they give you a bag that's not even a quarter full to last you a month. You know, you, you can't make it on that. And a lot of pastas and stuff, I can't eat a lot of pastas that throws your blood sugar up. So, it's it's so important to have the, to do this and help out because there's too many that need it. Many people who come to the Salvation Army after looking through every other option they have and coming to us to see what can happen, what can they be helped with. And many of these people are working families, uh, families that have children in the household that are affected by poverty and the conditions of the economy and the work nature of this area. And so this season will be so important for the Salvation Army to make sure we can raise the funds we need, not just for our Christmas season, but for our annual operating budget, which we of course are serving people every day of the year, not just during Christmas. And so we would really ask you to pray and consider how you can help support the work of the Salvation Army right here in this community.